Right guys, we're at Bista Village today. I'm not gonna bore you with a load of spill. I'm just gonna show you what we're up to. Can I just say, Charlie says I've got a YouTube voice, so I've just had to try and refilm this, but he's there clapping his hands, acting like he's on the one show. Everyone's laughing. All right, let's crack on. And Fletch, what do you reckon? Load of rubbish? Load of fucking rubbish. Don't swear on my channel. Oh, sorry. It's actually my channel. No, it was actually. What? Really it was cool. actually. The only way that I would go back is if I had a bit of money and I fancied like spending it on pointless shit, basically. There you go. Wouldn't you agree? So there's your review. Best place was the Pret. Just giving Harry Potter. Charlie hates it when I say it's giving, but I've been watching too much Love Island. It's so cute though. My goal for the holiday is to get Charlie to want to move to the countryside by the end of it. Good morning from the Cotswolds. What an amazing sleep. I ended up in the middle of the bed and Charlie still had all this room. Um, but we're gonna have a fun day today. I need a coffee. I'm gonna go for a little walk, so we'll take you along. Off into Broadway. All right, we're off in the Broadway today. I'm not gonna walk into someone. And um, not the musical. Yeah, so just gonna do some backward stepping and we're gonna show you what we'll get up to. Join us. <laughs> I don't know why Charlie is talking like we're making we're documenting. some documentary on like BBC iPlayer, but there we go, we've got two different styles, apparently. Join us as we take you on an endeavour to the Broadway. That was lovely in there, wasn't that it? That was so nice. And Charlie asked him what gin it was, and it was the Cotswolds gin. So now we need to get some Cotswolds gin because that was amazing. And he put a grapefruit in it, which was lovely. So we're gonna, I think we're gonna go to Dalesford now. Charlie's mum's patiently waiting for us at Dalesford. So we're gonna stroll, stroll back home and get in the car and go there. When we were in the high street, I said to Charlie, let's just nip into the um, charity shop because I bet they'll have some good bits. And I don't know where my gloves are. Oh, there they are. So I'll show you what I got. Literally just two bits and it cost me a fiver, but I'm very happy with them. So I managed to find this little bag, which I've been needing to get a little summer clutch. You know when I want something a little bit nicer, that bag looks really messy, excuse that. But I just thought it was really cute and it was only £3.50. And then the other thing that Charlie found, um, how much was it, £1.50, were these gardening gloves with some weird claws on the end but obviously you know to dig dig up to put your plants in and stuff like that but if i went to b&m or b&q or something like that they'd end up being about 10 quid so very happy with my purchases off to dalesford now and i'm going to meet charlie's mum there so that'll be really fun this afternoon okay so we've arrived at dalesford now i'm taking around the tours of everywhere in the cotswolds so um yeah we're going to have a look around we're going to show you again what we get up to come along do you want a documentary? Here we are. 
Yummy The English garden taste test. If you've watched This Is Us on Amazon Prime, you'll know about the big egg. You won't know about the big egg. But I know about the big egg. Watch out, kids. That's 45 quid. That's not bad, isn't it? Pretty heavy. Oh, look at all of those. I like them when they have the little eucalyptus in them. I'm very knowledgeable on my flower. In the future. I feel like in Delsford, you just, it makes you want to live out in the countryside and buy loads of unnecessary expensive things that you could probably do yourself for really cheap. But I said to Charlie, that's something I really want to get into sort of in the next few months when I'm getting back on my feet is doing like our own furniture. Cause I just think, you know, you can have a lot of fun with it. And I really enjoy like the renovation process, obviously not like knocking down walls and things like that, but doing a little bit, so I really enjoy. Love Dalesford. <laughs> Dalesford sponsor us. I don't want to tell them what we're up to, but there might be a secret little project, maybe. Very small chance. Um, so we're taking a bit of inspiration. I'll let you do what you want with that information. I'm gonna get on to my garden next week. So we've just finished up. I've got a little coffee, a flat white. Um, I've been going off coffee a little bit at the minute, but and it's very nice here, and I can confirm that it is. So I'm not sure what me and Charlie are going to do now. Probably find a pub somewhere and go for a drink when we get back. But to be honest, I'm still feeling a little bit tired. So we might go for a lie down, but we're going back out um, later to go for some nice food and a few drinks. Um, yeah, definitely. And then we've got a little thing. I've got my cotswold gin with grapefruit. I think I spoke about that earlier. Oh, delicious. She knew that. And um, I think confirmed that for her. I have to go back to Dale and then go and get the glass. Fish cake. Oh. Smells lovely. I've tried to make it. Amazing. Yeah, me! <laughs> Think to these. Charlie thinks they're a bit uni. They match your head I know, scarf. I was just about to say that.
the end of our Cotswold vlog. We've had a brilliant time, haven't we? Yeah, it's been a very, very enjoyable weekend. And, Not uh, sure how how the vlog's going to go because it's a little bit choppy, but we've just been living in the moment. And honestly, I've hardly been on my phone. Um, Charlie's been recording most of whatever's going to be put together. But yeah, we've been living in the moment because normally we're very happy to sort of get our phones out and things like that. But when you're with family, it's a bit different. Um, just don't really think about it. But we've got a bit of a drive ahead of us. Touchdown at quarter to eight. And then we've got to make the bed when we get home. But we have got some homemade bread that Auntie oh, Di that made us in her bread maker. And it's lovely. So we're very much looking forward to that. And we'll see you next weekend in London.